guys, I'm going to be taking a crack at the second lock that Dirk sent to me the other day. This one here is a 5 pin Abus challenge lock. So just to show you that it, uh, it does work. Now the key's a little bit crunchy going to the right, but just assuming that's uh, due to some of the, uh, the pins inside. Here is what the bidding looks like. So, doesn't look too bad. Let's get this thing chucked up in a vise and see if we can get into it. So again, this is the second one, or second one out of three that he sent me. So I'm gonna try top of the keyway with this one, and we're just gonna start with one of the uh, South Horde picks. See if we can go through and find a binder. A bit of click out of one. A click and a bit of a turn out of two. Click on three. Bit of a click on four. And a bit of a click on five. Like I said, I haven't haven't picked this one yet, but if uh this one's anything like that last one I got through. Be expecting some pretty evil stuff in it. Oh, okay. Well, we have another open, so that wasn't uh, that wasn't too bad at all. So maybe uh, Maybe Dirk just uh, sent a whole bunch of luck in that package <laughs> when he mailed me these locks. Okay, so let's uh, get this out of the vise, get her opened up, and see what it looks like. Get our pinning tray. And this has one of the pliered C-clips on it, which I just happen to have a tool for. I can get it to go. There we go. Okay, so get a follower here. Just get that set up in a better spot. Um, this one should do the trick. Okay, well that went much better than the one I took apart yesterday, <laughs> if you guys watched that one. Okay, so in the plug we have, for whoop, key pin number one, looks like we got a serrated, number two, serrated, number three seems to be stuck, there we go. Uh, threes are serrated, four serrated, and five is serrated. So we're all serrated in this one. And get a flashlight. It was uh, Potty314 that reminded me in a comment from yesterday's pick that I forgot to show the core and to see if it was threaded. So it was not, but this one does appear to be threaded on all five chambers. Okay, so that would explain all the serrated key pins. So let's get uh, let's get up into the Bible and see what kind of magic he's got hidden up in here. So for driver one, we have a couple nice deep serrations on number one number two we have a spool oh. number three we have another spool number four we have a serrated And number five for the last one. Uh, 
let's just do it this way. Number five looks to be another spool, so let's just get the springs dumped out of here. See what, uh, see if there's anything special with them. Which I don't think they seem to be all copper, and they look all the same. Okay, we'll just take a peek up into the housing here and see if anything's done up in here. But it would appear that nothing is threaded or milled or anything like that. So the Bible itself is stock. Okay, so I'll get a close up on these pins, show you what they look like. Get it picked to point out. So yeah, there's some uh, there's some nice looking pins. So like I said, all of the key pins were serrated. Some with just a single serration. A couple of the other ones have even three or four serrations on them. So nice looking pins. And the uppers were a mix of serrated and spools. So there it is, guys. So I was uh, <laughs> more than surprised to get into this one just as quick as well. I was. Uh, I know the last one I picked a Dirk, so I ended up uh, getting in pretty quick too. So I don't know, just uh, uh, just nothing but good luck picking this week, I guess. So maybe I should try some of the ones in my uh, fail pail that I haven't been able to get into. Maybe uh, maybe this is the week that I'm going to get them open. So <laughs> anyway, guys, this one again was the five pin Abus Challenge Lock sent to me from Dirk in Germany. So, um, everybody, thanks for watching, and Dirk, thanks again for the lock, brother. Okay, guys, keep her legal. And she cares away.